Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, today I'm going to show you how I built a um, queued uh, export for my website songrank.com. Uh, basically, I wanted my users to have the ability to download their song ratings, their, their rankings, uh, and have it emailed out to them. So today I'm going to show you uh, how I coded that up uh, in Laravel. This is the Laravel app with a uh, Blade and Vue.js hybrid front end. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to log in and uh, go to my main dashboard. Oh, I'm actually pointing at production right now, but that's fine for this demo purpose. Uh, I'm gonna click on my icon and go to settings, and I, I basically have two pretty basic uh, buttons. I'm, I'm not much of a UI guy. Uh, I like working on the back end of stuff. So I have two buttons. <laughs> one is export your data, and one is delete your account. And uh, we'll get into some code here too. Let me, let me zoom in so you guys can see, and I'll uh, hide that thing. Um, so we basically have this view component called settings.view, and I have those two buttons, um, export your data and delete your account. So um, on uh, export your data, when you click that, it's going to fire off this, uh, this method called download, and um, it's an async method that uh, builds out uh, a fancy flash. So it uses Sweet Alert 2 with a custom wrapper I built. It says, do you want to download your data? It will download all of your rankings. The export will be queued and emailed to you when complete. So that's um, what's happening right here. It's building a flash. Those are all those text prompts. If they click confirm, it's going to uh, get at rank slash export. Um, and then it's just going to return back with a success message and say the download started. Um, so we're going to simulate this first, and then we'll walk through all of the code, I guess. But the first thing I have to do is actually start my queue. Um, I'm using my database driver as a queue. So let's go ahead and do PHP artisan queue work and put the queue to work. So we'll leave this up on the screen here, but let me go ahead and open this. I'm going to do, oh, it's going to keep hiding it. Damn. Uh, we're going to click OK uh, or go. It says it started and then we have it right here. There's our job in the queue and boom, it's done just like that. And if we go to mail trap, we're going to have a sample email here. Kyle song ranker data download complete. And here it is. Hi, space lamp six. Thanks for using it. Your download is attached. And, um, here it is, rankings. Uh, I can save it right here. Uh, and if I go and open this guy, it's going to have my different rankings with each uh, set of rankings in its own tab, all ordered by their rank, which I think is pretty dang cool. Not that I'm a, not that I like Excel sheets or anything, but just as like a data backup, I think it's pretty neat. So, um, so yeah, let's let's walk through how the code actually works and go from there. So we saw the, the get request fire out. It goes to rank slash export. That's going to hit the ranking controller. And in the ranking controller, we have a function called export. Um, it's going to query all of our rankings for our current user, eager load some relations, and it's going to dispatch a job that I titled download data job. And it's going to take uh, those rankings and the authenticated user uh, as a an argument. In hindsight, I don't think I had to do this, but I did it just in case. Um, so I just I pass in the user as a parameter as well. So download data job is super simple. It takes in that collection of rankings and then that user as an argument and in the handle function, it simply just sends a notification to that user and it sends a new download data notification with those rankings. Um, so if we go to the download data notification, uh, we, we collect uh, move along here and we uh, in uh, accept that collection of rankings as a uh, uh, parameter when uh, constructing the, uh, the the notification object and this is basically the uh, to mail function this is what builds that notification so we build a new instance of a mail message uh, this markdown function basically tells the mail message which uh, template or which HTML to use um, so that's in my emails download data that's what that's called and it takes the notifiable as a as a parameter as well to access the the user's name and that kind of thing. Um, it comes from no reply at songrank.com. Uh, it sets a subject, and this is um you know what I think is kind of cool. I attach uh, an instance of an Excel document generated from memory. So we're using the uh, Matt website Excel facade package. Um, and basically I'm doing Excel download, a new instance of a rankings export where I pass in those rankings. Uh, and I, I call it rankings.xlsx as uh, the name. And then I call get file. 
and then I pass in a second parameter to this uh, attach function here, and I called it as rankings.xlsx, which is pretty cool that you can kind of just one line it like this. So we're downloading a new rankings export. What is a new rankings export? And that here is um, a basic export, again, using that mat website Excel um, package. It takes in that collection of rankings again. And we're doing with multiple sheets. We saw in this actual download that we have a bunch of different sheets here where each sheet is one ranking that has a rank and a title for the different songs. So basically we made an array called sheets. We iterate over each ranking. And then for each ranking, we make a new song export where we pass in the rankings songs and the rankings name as arguments. And what is a new song export? A new song export is another export, but it implements more stuff like with mapping and with headings and with title. Um, and basically the collection is the songs passed in. Uh, we're mapping um, the headings rank and title to the songs rank and the songs title. And the title here uh, correlates to the, um, the title at the bottom um, in the different worksheets, I think is what they're called. So uh, I just pass in that ranking name, which we pass in here. So it's all super readable, and then it basically bubbles back up, right? So we had, what, nine or ten rankings. It made a new song export, made them into sheet. Okay, we return those sheets. All right, we have that new uh, Excel sheet of sheets. We called it rankings.xlsx. We send out this new mail message. That message is sent out from this job. That job was dispatched from this controller, which was all triggered from the user. Is it over-engineered? Probably, but was it fun to write? Yes, it was. So that's how I handled attaching um, a generated Excel file from memory to a notification and, uh, and, and queue up a job to send that notification out. Um, I hope this helped you in some way. Um, if you want to play around with songrank.com, I will put it in the video description. It's completely free to use. It's super cool. Um, you can go and explore all kinds of other rankings that people made and see like what their favorite songs were. And um, there's, so, there's so much other stuff in here. I'm going to make another video on it eventually. So uh, I hope this uh, helped you in some way. And uh, I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.